Hi everyone, Chad Waite here with AvantLink.com. This is a training video that's going to be really important for any affiliate out there who uses merchant ads, specifically text ads for merchants. Um, what we want to take a look at in the next couple minutes here is the ability to uh, make a text ad uh, go on your site, but in a way that um, allows it to be automatically updated by the merchant whenever there's a change made. So let me give you an example here. We're going to be looking at a, a personal account I use for demonstrations like this, and I'm going to go ahead and get an ad by coming up here to Ad Tools, go to Merchant Ads, and then I'm going to click on Get Ads right there, and I am going to search for a text-based ad from uh, let's do uh, let's do Tri Village right here. Now, the way that we do this is by selecting a certain type of dynamic integration option. And if you don't know what that means, don't be scared about kind of the vagueness or the almost the technical sounding nature of that. It's just very simple. All I have to do is I can go ahead and select uh, any ad here, and I'm going to click Get HTML. And by dynamic integration option, I simply mean that the default integration option here is JavaScript. And you'll see that the word dynamic is paired with it. Integration option, of course, being the way that it's actually put on your site. Uh, so if I was to select this and I'd hit Get HTML, the what I would actually put on my site to get this text message would be this. Now, we do offer multiple integration types. The other most common type for uh, any sort of text ad is likely going to be standard HTML, which many of you decide to use. And the difference here is that instead of dynamically creating the content that goes on your site, you're actually hard coding the embedded words of that particular text ad. And while this may seem like the logical choice, this is actually bad. You want to make sure that you're sticking with the dynamic JavaScript option. And here's why. I'm going to go ahead and actually copy this. I'm going to head over to a uh, little um, just demo affiliate site that I run called Outdoor Gear Reviews. You're always welcome to visit this. And I'm going to come into the admin screen here. Hopefully uh, most of you are familiar with what uh, or WordPress admin looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop this dynamic JavaScript text ad that we've just created into a little text widget and hit save. Now if I come back, and refresh the page, you'll see right there is the actual text for that particular ad. Now let's Propose, or let's uh, put forth though a hypothetical situation for a minute though, okay? So uh, you'll see that this, uh, for Tri Village, this is an awesome deal, 10% off of cycling gear, uh, free shipping, et cetera, et cetera. What if this was a sale though that expired or the, um, you know, the promotion ended and it was on to something else? Well, what's going to happen is that program manager is likely going to change the actual verbiage of the text. And this is where we talk about dynamic updating. If you are using an ad type, whoop, let's bring up the uh, ad screen here. If you're using an, uh, an ad type or an integration type rather that is dynamic using JavaScript, any changes that they make to that, so maybe it's now 20% off of cycling gear or maybe the 10% uh, went away but they're still free shipping, any adjustment that the merchant makes to that advertisement will then be automatically reflected and updated on your site which is very, very handy. Um, if you do use, for example, the alternative option, the standard HTML, unfortunately that ad text is hard-coded onto your site. So this ad text will actually be put on your site and if the merchant makes a change to that ad, there will be no update made automatically on your site. Um, again, the way to sum this up best is if you want your ad to dynamically update and you want your text ads to make sure that they're always representing the latest and greatest ads that, or sales or promotions that the merchant is actually configuring, be sure that you're using this integration type, the dynamic JavaScript, with any text ads that you may have. Pretty simple there. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, you are always welcome to reach out to us at support at avantlink.com or hit us up on Twitter or Facebook, twitter.com slash avantlink or facebook.com slash avantlink. And thank you, everyone. Hopefully this is uh, helpful in helping you manage your uh, text-based ads and good luck moving forward. Thanks.